What was the biggest challenge in putting together the film? Because you've got a lot of material. The biggest challenge was access to Justice Ginsburg herself. Um, not only is she an extremely busy woman, but uh, there's never been a documentary about a sitting Supreme Court justice before. There's a lot of rules about what you can and can't film with the justice, and figuring that out and strategizing to make it happen was certainly the biggest challenge of our film. What was the most bizarre rule that you two came across while you were doing it? <laughs> The bizarre, well, the Supreme Court itself has a lot of rules about what you can and cannot film. For example, uh, within the Supreme Court building, you can't interview anyone except for a justice. Um, so if there's someone else there who's meeting with it, you cannot do any interviews. That seemed to us unusual, but um, we were really very gratified to be able to do this film. So. And how did the two of you split up your producing and directing duties? Uh, we both did both jobs. Uh, there was a lot of work to be done, so um, we just sort of dug in and, and did it. I mean, there were a lot of characters in our, in our film, and the characters we kind of split down the middle with Betsy dealing with half of them and me dealing with the other half. Sort of a divide and conquer. Was there anyone she got to interview who you wanted and vice versa? No, it didn't really work that it way. Didn't really. We went to most of the interviews together. There were a few that we didn't go to together. And certainly all of the major decisions about who we would interview and what we did in the edit room, we did as a team and also with our tremendously talented editor, Carla Gutierrez. The three of us uh, were a pretty good uh, team.